Hey, Shalom. Wam. Hey, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, salutations to you brothers out there risking your lives, preaching the truth across the four corners of the earth in season and out of season. All right, I'm going to get straight to the point. Uh, as a man, and even even for the for the for the for the, for the young men, and for the for the boys too, you need to know how to defend yourself, right? Because one of the things that we learn in the church and they teach you growing up, you know, they put they push this you know Martin Luther King vibration on us, you know, just get spit in the face, just let people you know punch you in the face and abuse you all this. Hey, that wasn't the way of our fathers, all right? We come from mighty men and men, men of valor. All right? and it's, 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 it's very important you learn to defend yourself. All right? that's, a, that's, a, that's an ancient world custom. When you look at all these different nations, right? The Moabites, the Ammonites, you know, it talks about that lion-like men of Moab. You see the Chinese movies, the arts, all of that. All of that stuff has been preserved. Now you look at, you know, the Russians and all the stuff they got going on and all those nations that are linked to them. All right, hell, Elam. They got warriors amongst them. Wrestlers and, and all these people. You know, Ishmael. They got some hitters too. Every nation has hitters. When you look at Israel, and I'm going to get to the scriptures, you know, Salakia, I just got to do my drop. When you look at our people, they give us a, 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 a basketball, a football, a field. You know, you out there getting clipped, you know, running and, and killing yourself, tearing up your ACL, your back, and your, your knees, your ankles. Hitting somebody or somebody's hitting you, you know. And with all that being said, there's there's no, you know, it's it's contact sport, but it's no combat. Hey, the way of men is combat, okay? Warfare. Now, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal right now, you know what I'm saying? We're just out here to teach, you know what I'm saying? But there's nothing wrong with knowing how to defend yourself. All right, hey, these men. In the scriptures, man, that King David, he was a warrior. Right? And the first thing he did that the spirit guided him to do was take out the top warrior <laughs> from the Philistines. Right? And show the power of the Lord. Right? We're gonna be those uh, uh Lord willing, we're gonna be those uh, uh uh sharp threshing instruments. Right, this shit is gonna get carnal. Right, and there's nothing wrong with, again, knowing how to defend yourself and being familiar with warfare. All right, and that's the theme through the scriptures, man. Being a soldier, warfare, blocking the fiery darts, having the armor on, having the helmet. You know, the implications are of somebody who knows and understands battle. All right, running your race. Be not as one that beateth the air. Implications of somebody who trains, who fights. All right, this is First Chronicles 12, and I'm not going to read all of them, but this is what happened when we assembled the armies of Israel. Hey, right, First Chronicles 12 and 1. Now these are they that came to David, to David, to Ziklag. Excuse me. Why he yet kept himself close because of Saul, the son of Kish. And they were among the mighty men, helpers of the war. They were armed with bows and could use both the right hand and the left in hurling stones and shooting arrows out of a bow, even of Saul's brethren of Benjamin. All right, and then when you skip down through, you know, it's going to give you names, it's going to give you people. All right, verse 8. And of the Gadites that separated themselves unto David, into the hole to the to the wilderness men of might and men of war fit for the battle that could handle shield and buckler whose faces were like faces of lions 
and was swift as the rolls upon the mountains. All right, so when you looked at us, man, we all go back to warriors. That's one of the things that Esau tried to take away. That's why uh, when uh, jujitsu and all these martial arts started to come out and be popularized, right, even, even with the Gracies, you know, even though they are Jake's, the, the, the thing that they did, a, a certain portion of their family uh, uh, took 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 uh, the arts and trained Esau, right? Trained people in the military forces and and, and, and uh, did all of that, right? And then through the military forces, you know, they they trained their people, you know, who were associated with them, including law enforcement, right? To come and to be able to to, to beat up and to take down uh, uh, Jacob. All right. This is why when you look at uh, Esau, they train in wrestling. You know what I'm saying? They train in all those different art forms. All right? Their, their thing is not primarily our, our thing. Our thing is primarily sports, and you know I want to make it to the NBA. And, and well, look, man, you trying to compete with you know the top 200 players on earth? It, you have a higher chance of. Uh, being struck by lightning and winning the lottery when you look up the numbers. All right? In a game where they, they're the owners on all the teams, they own the league, they can change the rule. You know, bullshit, man. Hey, I'm 30 years old, man. I'm too old to be on the court dribbling a basketball and, and, you know, playing against and trying to dunk on a bunch of kids. Fuck all that. All right? Hey, the scriptures talk about, you know, because, of course... We're going to receive new bodies. You know, brothers a lot of times take that as, well, I can kind of neglect this body. The scriptures talk about that, man, care of uh, your bodily estate. All right? It talks about the things to eat and to drink, moderation, all right? fasting. The thing we're trying to do is perfect ourselves, man. That's And that's the main component of martial arts. It's not necessarily even, you know, becoming a professional or competing or anything like that. It's a discipline to it, all right, a discipline. It becomes a yoke. You know, you put that gi on, and now, you know, you become a, a – it's not like a team sport. Hey, they didn't pass me the ball. No, this is full accountability. This is combat. All right, this is the way of our forefathers, combat. Hey, when you look at about 100 years ago, that was one of the things they did when when Jake came back from World War One. That's a lot for 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 a tangent, but I was just you know I've been researching these things all week. Uh, the the bloody summer, I believe that's uh, 1911. Uh, but then that that was like a a, a a couple of years where Esau was just coming through and terrorizing because Jake had just came home from World War One or whatever. All right. And they didn't want um, they didn't want Jake to have the ability to militarize in Chicago. Uh, you had riots in East St. Louis, Cleveland. You know, all it was nationwide, man. L.A., New York. All right, Esau came home from World War One, and Jake was actually getting treated well uh, by the Europeans. All right, they showed up. You know, a lot of the day, a lot of there was a lot of seed left over there. All right? A lot of the women were, were opening their legs for Jake. And appreciating them because they, 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 they came and they showed out in Europe. All right, they came back home to, uh, uh, to Babylon to these damn devils over here, which you know, fuck them devils over there. But there's a lot of, a lot of them are, are Jakes over there. All right, they came home and Esau wanted to make sure that wait a minute, you know, these people are starting to become soldiers. They're starting to get. Uh, uh, loans and get all this shit by the government. And, wait a minute. So they had to militarize all right, and, and take away shit. And that's exactly what happened. They were working with law enforcement all right, to take us out. And that was one of the reasons why they funneled martial arts and combat into them and took it away and, and tried to take it away from us. Man, you look at any going to the inner city. You're not gonna see the wrestling, and, and, and you know you're not gonna see. Uh, uh, that's another thing they try to do, man. Keep us out of Boy Scouts, uh, which you know, the Boy Scouts is full of weirdos, but they do teach you, you know, certain life skills and survival skills, man. When you look at the scriptures, like with um, 
Edris, you know, he, he went into the field and he dealt with the flowers. Okay, if you're a warrior in the field, you might not have time to be at the house and throw something on the stove or something. You might have to understand how to forge, understand how to uh, 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 field prep, you know, understand how to deal with different things in the bush. And we already have an understanding of uh, what's lawful and what's not to eat. But then you have certain plants which, you know, you can eat plants, but there's certain plants that you just can't eat because they'll kill you. Right? And all these things is part of our heritage, man, as, as warriors, man. We ain't meant to be just guys just sitting in the house, you know. I only go to Walmart. I only eat TV men, dinners. This place has gotten us very simple. All right, these these uh, Edomites, they train all day. That's a locket for the tangent, but I just had to say that, man. You know, they, they funneled us into being linear, this rap, basketball, nigga dream, nigga pipe dream that never works. All right, there are many avenues. Ultimately, fuck this place, but there are many avenues, man. All right, but anyway, this, and the scriptures don't tell us which specific art and style that we, but it does give you details, man. It talks about the sword. Some people had the javelin. All right, Israel is my battle axe, my weapons of war. All right, it shows different situations, man. That uh, who was that? Was it? I forget the, the prophet's name, but he had a, basically took a dagger out on the king of Moab, who's a Benjaminite. I think it was it, was it uh, Adonijah? But yes, yeah, st stabbed him, you know, in the stomach. All right, it talks about the battles between the house of Saul and the house of David. People was getting smoked between the fourth and fifth rib. Right, a warrior, being a warrior was always a, a, a part of it, man. The scriptures, the scriptures allude to that so many times, as well as being a musician. All right, multidimensional. When you look at some of these uh, Edomite schools of, of classical learning, that's what they're going to teach them. They're going to teach the boys what they did. You know, they've taken a lot out, but they're going to teach them combat. They're going to teach them uh, preparation. They're going to teach them, uh, you know, how to, to manage their money, accounting and, and, and business. They're going to teach them all these things. And then, you know, under their, their school of thought, they're going to call it, you know, this person, he's a renaissance man. You know, he's great in many fields uh, uh, and has understanding, all right? And that's that's part of our culture, man, understanding. And I was going to read through this, you know. I'm not going to read through the whole thing. The whole chapter is, is good. But it tells you. Let's see, I'm going to jump to verse 30. First Chronicles 12 and 30. And of the children of Ephraim, 12,800 mighty men of valor famous throughout the house of their fathers and of the half tribe of Manasseh 18,000 which were expressed by name to come and make David king and of the children of Issachar which had which were men that had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do the heads of them were 200 and all of their brethren were at the commandment of Zebulon such as went forth to battle expert in war with all instruments of war 5,000 which could keep rank they were not of double heart. All right, so they, say these were these were these were seasoned warriors, man. If you're an expert in war, you're knowledgeable of combat. Okay, you understand how to defend yourself, how to wield a sword. What does it say? Teach Judah, Judah the bow. So we get that matter of fact. And I'm driving, so I'm just quoting stuff. But yeah, man. Get into that. Get into combat. You know, it might not be for everybody. Hey, everybody wasn't necessarily a, a, um, a, a warlord, you know what I'm saying? A, 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 you know, you had scouts too. You had some people who were scouts. They would scout the battle. Like I said, these, these Issacharites, they had knowledge of the times. Oh, yeah, 2 Samuel 1 and 18. 1 and 17, that David lamented with lamentation over Saul and over Jonathan, his son, and he bade them to teach the children of Judah the use of the bow. Behold, it is written in the book of Jasher. Now, we don't have the real book of Jasher, so, you know, we don't know the full details of them having usage of the bow. But being a warrior, 
That's an that's a that's an aspect of being a man. And that's why when you're young, you know, they got the they got the arcade machine. They give you, you know, Street Fighter and all this stuff because they know that Jake is going to gravitate that, man. Jake then poured a hundred thousand quarters into it. Street Fighter and all these, you know, arcade games and fighter, you know. Everybody want to play that. All right, but now at a certain point, you know, you understand that you want to apply yourself. Whatever you do, you want to do, you know, the scriptures say that, due, due to your full might. So you actually want to um, apply your hand at learning and understanding the martial arts, understanding how to move and keep your body, All right, understanding how to uh, um, have these different skills. All right, which pay off, man. These Edomites run up on you. They understand that you know what you, you know what you're doing. They're gonna treat you a whole nother way. Now, of course, you know that comes it comes with wisdom. All right, we're gonna apply wisdom to it as well. All right, because we're not out here trying to be tough guys. All right, but when they see that you have a certain uh, uh, build, you have a certain mental discipline, and that that's really what it comes down to, man. It comes down to your spirit. You don't have to be huge. You don't have to be you know, the greatest fighter in the world. But if you have a certain level of mental discipline, people have to treat you a certain way. You carry yourself with a certain respect. And that's what the martial arts aim to teach you, man. Discipline. Discipline. All right, this is Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 14. I shall set the people in order and the nation shall be subject unto me. Horrible tyrants shall be afraid when they do. But hear of me, I shall be found good among the, multi the multitude and valiant in war. All right, hey, that's how that's how you uh, that's how you got a, a, a good name. All right, too, prowess on the battlefield. All right, hey, you know King David killed Goliath. It was another guy he killed Goliath's brother. Took him out. His name was highlighted too. I right, took out the enemy. And the reason these these tie hey, the reason. And that's what happens, man. These 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 different these different nations they they feared, you know, King David. He had garrisons in that country, garrisons, you know, where they lived at, and it was a fear and a respect. And that's how it is, you know, when these people understand that you into the martial arts, you have a certain level of mastery of it. They know they can't play with you. Right? They can't send some 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 chump to try to come and bully you. They're like, oh no, nah, this dude, you know, he knows what he, he's doing. Uh uh. Even at camp, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what that's what it teaches you to do. You know, the average person, the scripture talk about that, man. One who who ruleth his spirit. Okay. Because that's what you're you're training, man. Discipline, mental fortitude. So like it. Spell. Couldn't see it. I think it's, it's a proverbs. Right, Proverbs 16 to 32. Now, he that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city. I see so you got one guy who could take a city, you know, he's strong and all this then he can't rule over his spirit. And that's, that's exactly what it's about, man. Ruling over your spirit, having that discipline, controlling yourself. And a lot of times, you know, focus and, and self-control can, can get you out of a lot of jams and a lot of situations. All right, hey, Proverbs 25 and 28. He that have no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. And again, that's what you see these guys, you know, who all these different situations, you know, Esau gets scared. And then now, you know, it's three, it's already three on one. They got guns against some Jake, you know, who's out of his mind or whatever. And so what happened, man, they, they, Satan jump on them and they put the man to death, kill that man you know, blow his brains out or choke him out or whatever the fuck and something that they've trained in because they can't rule over their spirit. Right? They get scared. 
oh my God, I should, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I thought he had a gun or, or plant some shit, whatever. That's Esau, man. He has he, he he can't rule over his spirit because they're afraid. All right, through the spirit, they're afraid of us. And they always have been. All right, there's always been, hey, what does it say? He will, uh, he will bruise thy heel, but thou, thou will bruise his head. Yeah, through the spirit, they know that 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 their kingdom is being translated over to us. All right, so you got them who they do train and stuff, but they don't have the they don't have a, a, a wisdom. They don't have a, a discipline like that. All right, they're learning the moves to 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 kill for them to. What did Esau say? When my father dies, I will kill Jacob. All right, and Jacob, I don't, it's, I don't know if Esau wanted to smoke because shit, Jacob wrestled an angel. You know, don't get it twisted. <laughs> Jacob ran. You know, Jacob wrestled that angel to become Israel. All right, hey, got his side, thigh separated and still held on. Guess what? Hey, when we came out the womb, we had Esau's heel. You know, hey, so we don't have the knowledge of what our original combat, which, you know, brothers speculate on that. Is that will have to be a mixture of grappling, striking, understanding pressure points, understanding, you know, arteries, veins, and, and you know, all of these different things, rhythm, pace, and time, and all these different things is part of our heritage. The, the scriptures doesn't get specific on that. All right, but it's good, man, to, to, to understand Again, martial arts, how to defend yourself, techniques for you not to get, you know, choked out or for you, you know, if you get into a situation or whatever. All right. Nothing wrong with not understanding how to defend yourself. All right. This is Sirach uh, 26 and 19. It says, my son, keep the flower of thine age sound and give not thy strength to strangers. All right. Keep the flower of your age sound. Basically, man, don't neglect your youth. All right? Hey, you sitting up playing, you know, it's good to read the scriptures, of course, man. You, we're supposed to do that, man. We're the, we're the prophets. All right? But we ain't just here just to sit up, you know, read the scriptures and then, you know, play 2K all day. You know, you playing a simulation. You playing boxing or something because, you know, Jake is still in the combat, but they'll be into virtual combat. They're into watching somebody else you know what I'm saying, move and compete and all this stuff. No, man, you got to put your actual hands to it, man. All right, hey, there's a, cer hey, there's a certain, uh, um, you have to, you have to, to, to devote certain time to actually, like you said, man, keep the flower of your age sound. That's your health, okay, your mental health, your physical health. All right, because the Lord, you know, gave us these bodies, you know, especially for, for brothers who are younger. There should be no reason why you're under 30, you know, with a pot belly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, and if you're going to do workouts, you know, go ahead, work out, you know, do your sit-ups, do your crunches, do all that. Well, if you're going to do that, well, you might as well get into the martial arts you might as well have a a a, a practical um application for why you're doing all those different things all right what better than to actually apply your body into a situation where you're going against you know somebody else and again being stri striking grappling which you know if you're really cold you're gonna you're gonna do both of those yeah <laughs> Uh, you're going to learn weaponry. You're going to learn all those different things. All right? Experts of war. Men of valor. Lord willing, is edifying, though. Lord willing, you know, it's motivating. You know what you find, too, when you look up uh, trying to be trained in martial arts. Like I said, they don't have a lot of that in the inner city. You got to go all the way out to the county somewhere, you know, where it's a bunch of Edomites who... Probably gonna look at you crazy when you walk through the door. All right, because they don't like the fact that you're in there getting the same understanding <laughs> that they're getting. So they can't 
ambush you and take you out. Hey, Lord willingness is edifying though. Show one.